In this video, we're going to uh, do a solid revolution, a volume uh, other than about an axis. And so let's think about our curve. Our curve here is still the same parabola that we've been working with. And we're going from x is 1 to x is 3. And we would like to revolve this about the line y equals negative 1. Well, let's think about it. y equals negative 1 is down here. So when we revolve about the x-axis, our radius length is that far. But when we revolve about y equals negative 1, we have one more length that we have to add. So we have to get from here to there, which is going to be 1 plus the function, because it's a longer radius when we revolve. So our setup here, uh, and again, our solids of revolution will look like this, only lower now. Uh, so we would have pi from 1 to 3 of 1 plus x squared plus 2 quantity squared dx. Remember, pi r squared. Um, well, if we combine like terms there, we have x squared plus 3 squared. And if we foil that, we get x to the fourth plus 6x squared plus 9. And that's what we'd like to integrate from 1 to 3 and then multiply by pi. So if we integrate, we get pi and then we've got x to the fifth over 5 uh, plus 2x cubed plus 9x from 1 to 3. So pi, if we plug in, we would get 243 over 5 plus 54 plus 27 minus 1 fifth plus 2 plus 9. Combine all that together, you end up with 592 pi fifths. So again, the key is when you have a negative value so that your radius length has increased, you need to add that distance. Remember, distance is always positive.